Good morning. This is the Financial News Network. I'm Christy Duffy. Oil got a small boost Thursday, settling at $88.37 a barrel in New York, up nine cents after a drop in U.S. jobless claims bolstered confidence that the U.S. economy is improving and will need more oil in the future. Gold also nudged higher, picking up support as the euro weekend, sending traders into haven plays. Copper remains strong, with the March contract climbing four cents to four dollars and thirteen cents this Friday morning. Oil futures twice approached eighty-nine dollars a barrel Thursday, following the better-than-expected jobs data before easing into a narrow range around eighty-eight dollars and fifty cents. Overall, prices were down seven tenths of a percent this week, with the front-month contract currently at eighty-eight dollars and seventy-two cents a barrel. Techn Technicians are sounding a more cautious tone in recent days with Peter Butel, president of Cameron Hanover Incorporated in New Canaan, Connecticut, telling Bloomberg News yesterday that crude may have hit an intermediate high during this week. Crude touched $90.76 a barrel on Tuesday, the highest intraday price since October 2008. While futures may again surpass the psychologically important $90 level, Butel said investors will probably start selling contracts when prices advance to around $90.55, the higher of two Bollinger Bands indicating resistance on technical charts. Gold is down nearly 2% so far this week and is poised for its first weekly drop since the week ending November 19th. Silver, likewise, has backed down after reaching a 30-year high Tuesday, settling yesterday at $28.77, or nearly $2 an ounce lower than the December 7th peak. At last look, February gold was down $1,390.80 an ounce, down $2. In company news, London Mining said it expects higher copper, zinc and lead production in 2011 compared to this year, adding it plans to boost capital investment by $105 million next year to $290 million. Also, Air Products and Chemicals said it made its best and final offer yesterday for rival industrial gas supplier Air Gas, bumping the price by 7% to $5.9 billion or $70 a share. That's still below the $78 a share Air Gas previously said it was worth. Occidental Petroleum is selling all of oil and gas assets in Argentina to the corporate parent of Sinopec Corporation for $2. $2.45 billion, the company said last night. The deal includes 23 production and exploration concessions holding gross proven plus probable reserves of 393 million barrels of oil equivalent. For further updates, stay tuned. You're watching the Financial News Network. I'm Christy Duffy.